UPS guy just delivered our new uh, Little Chief electric smokehouse and uh, I think that I need to get familiar with this thing. I've never smoked before so uh, I'm, I just went down to our local Costco and I went fishing in their uh, salmon section and I got some nice uh, coho salmon here. It's a lot smaller than what this thing will probably handle, but we'll take baby steps. Here's our new Little Chief smokehouse cooker. We're going to give it its uh, first try here in a little bit. I've got it plugged in, warming up. It's the front loader kind. That's what it looks like inside, but I don't have any of the shelves in because they're inside ready to be packed up. Got a little heating element down there and that's where the uh, chip pan will go. So we'll come back and look at this in a few minutes when it's ready to load up. This is our test batch of salmon that we've had brining for about 12 hours. So we'll see how that turns out. Now we're just waiting uh, uh, the direction say an hour for it to form a tacky glaze. And then we're going to put it on the racks which will spray with PAM and we put aluminum foil on the drip pan uh, for easy cleanup. Okay, salmon's on the racks. We got thick pieces on one, thin pieces on another. We got a pan full of alder chips. They came with the unit, so we'll just see how they taste. I don't have any preference since I'm inexperienced. And now we're going to go put this in the uh, in the smoker that's all preheated. All right, we're ready to load up our little chief. It's all preheated. Ouch! Yes, that's hot. And so I'll put that right on the burner. It's nice how they have a little um, <clears throat> a little spot made for that, so it's not going to touch the burner. It just cooks nicely. We hope. And I'll start with the thicker pieces. Oops. On the lower shelf. And I'll put the thinner pieces. Uh, I don't know if it makes any difference how high they go, but I'll put it on the next one up. Alright. Okay, I'm going to take that pan right out when I need to fill it up. Okay, so we've been smoking now for all of about 15 minutes and the uh, smoke is starting to come out pretty noticeably. It smells good. Direction said it would take 15 minutes and that's exactly what it took. You can see the smoke a little bit better at this angle. don't know yet how thick it's going to get. I wanted to keep this out of the wind. There is no wind because it's the morning right now. I've got this uh, little curtain we have drawn and uh, I was kind of wondering whether it was going to be okay on the enclosed part of our patio. But so far so good. Definitely smells like smoke in here though. Okay, it's been an hour, so stop smoking, and uh, yeah, everything's just kind of charcoal in there, which is what the direction said to expect. I guess we'll just put that down on the brick. Sorry if the camera doesn't point right to it, so I'm just going to fill this back up with with chips. We'll do this three panfuls in, in total. Looks like there's plenty in the bag for this and, and more. Alright, I'm kind of impressed with how easy that is to get in there. Alright, right on the burner. It all feels hot.
no wind, which is lucky. Because it's a hot day. I've read where some people are smoking and it's freezing temperatures. Well, it, let's see. I almost don't need the smoker. Well, I don't know if you can read the thermometer, but it says it says it's 102 here on the patio. So I don't think we've got too much cool down from from uh, the air temperature. So we'll check back in an hour. Here we are back at Little Chief headquarters. It's been uh, oh, oh, that's kind of hot. It's been um, almost four hours. So we're gonna take a look here, just because we're curious. We've never done this before. Ah, so wow, looks they're more done looking than I thought they would be. So we decided to uh, turn them over because they. Uh, look kind of moist on the bottom and dried out on the top so I don't know if we're supposed to do that or not but they're looking looking pretty good all right this has been going for five hours and 52 minutes and um, I think our pieces are a little smaller than what the directions were talking about so I think they might be done in fact I took some of the little tail pieces off already and uh, they were well done. This is in a different position because we had a windstorm come up and I, I had to, uh, it, was, it was cooling down. So, okay, can you see those? Actually, let's just, I think these are done. These are the top rack for my smaller piece. Okay. That one I actually did sample a little while ago to see where we were at with it. Okay, I think I'm gonna let the, the thicker pieces go for a little bit longer. Another hour, I have no idea. We'll find out. But these, I just ate that. I think I'm gonna eat the whole thing actually. So it's Definitely not dried out. I'm not sure everybody would consider that done, but it certainly tastes good. Mm. Okay, we're at 6 hours and 45 minutes, and I think that this should be done. It said 8, but our pieces are kind of small. And let's see what we've got. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Of course, how would I know? I've never done this before, but I've eaten it. Oh. It's more moist than stuff that I've bought. Does that mean that it's not done? I don't really know. Let's look, check out one of these thicker pieces. Good. See if the dog likes it. Tizzy. Here we go. If you're seeing this on the Kizzy Creek Ranch YouTube now, now you know who Kizzy is. So, I'm going to call that done. I always like to finish things up with the reason why we do stuff. And It's for happy hour. Smoked salmon, healthy crackers, good beer, good wine. Goodbye.